Good morning, everyone. It is the morning. I ain't a morning person, so I have taken some time to wake up before I hopped on the camera this morning. I already got my coffee going. Woke up with a high blood sugar, which honestly, I was surprised about. I was dealing with that for quite a while. Every morning I was waking up and then I was like, Okay, I'm waking up and my blood sugar is just high. First, second thing. And that always starts off the day really, really weird. I brush my hair. Anywho, I have been actually having pretty good control over my blood sugars recently and it's been making me feel a lot better and a lot like, I don't know, I feel more grounded and a little more down to earth when my blood sugars are normal because then I'm not going through these spikes and also these mood changes. So I am feeling good. I'm feeling good. And also probably because my period ended. So I can't really base that off of everything right now. Um, but my blood sugar, actually, I'm just gonna go check one second. So, my blood sugar right now is 12.8. When I woke up, it was in the 13s. I took like 0.5 units, which is really low, but I've been, I don't know if I've talked about this before, but sometimes when I take my full dose in the morning, I come crashing down or, you know, it doesn't do much. So I started with a little dose to see how it would go. Um, and yeah, it did not do much. So I had kind of started going up higher. That could have also been the coffee though. Um. I should also show you guys what creamer I used. But yeah, I took some insulin and then, uh, I took some insulin and then, uh, and then see, I'm not awake yet. Let me get my coffee. So I think I went back and I took another unit and then I was like, you know what? Let's just take a full dose. So I put in my blood sugar and wanted to give me another 1.75 units. So I probably had in the last hour here, I've had like three units working to try to get my blood sugars down. And so that's what we're doing right now. But we have a big day planned today. I'm actually excited for today. Oh yeah, I want to show you what creamer we I used. So I finally got some groceries yesterday and that was my biggest thing. So I'm not eating out anymore. I am done. And I've just been really focusing on remembering to take my insulin, which has been a huge help because that's one thing I struggle with and that's why I deal with hot. I use this creamer. So the other day when I didn't have creamer, I ordered something online because I was like, I need coffee creamer. And the only thing they had is this. And I really don't like this in my coffee because there's a lot of, well, one tablespoon is six gram, but it just like something sets it off with my blood sugar. So I don't like using a sugary creamer because coffee already messes with my blood sugar. And, <clears throat> and, yeah, it just dehydrates me already, so it just makes it harder to control my blood sugar. So, I use this one. I always, I've been using this one for years. My sister was actually the one that recommended it to me. But this one is, so one tablespoon, this one's four grams. Okay, it's actually not too much of a difference, but I don't know why. This one just seems to not affect my blood sugar as much. I feel like they probably would have a sugar-free version. Honestly, I should probably just do that. I just, whatever. This one, I use this one and it works great. But, because of the fact that my blood sugars have been more stable now, I'm starting to like having less spikes. So when I am going low, I'm actually letting myself stay in the 4.5 zone. And I'm not really concerned about a low because I'm not like dropping crash. Or feel like it's, you know, harder to bring back up a low. So now I'm able to just kind of sit in that range because I'm just, I really want to get my A1C down. I really want to. So this morning, I think what we should do, ba, 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 ba. I think first thing we're going to go walk Ted. It is 9.46 a.m. Um, I ordered my prescription of diabetic supplies this morning. Oh, that's awesome. Um, I ordered Dexcom sensors and a bottle of insulin. And it's really, it's right next to my boyfriend's work. I'm going to ask him to pick it up on his lunch break. And yeah, let's hope it doesn't charge him a lot of money. I have to do a couple things today. I have to finish making an ad for Omnipod. Oh my God, you want to go outside? Do you want to go on a walk? You want to go on a walk? Oh. <gasps> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go on a walk. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna put this down for a second. I'm gonna go put his harness on. Okay. Give me a moment. I'm gonna get some socks on. Okay. So another thing that we're gonna be doing today is one of my really good friends, Stephanie. She has moved in finally to the area that I am. I don't really have friends that are like literally a couple minutes down the road. So I'm really happy about that. Her apartment building has a gym. Oh, I need to update you guys about kickboxing. <laughs> so you guys know I went, signed up for a membership, signed a six month thing. I got an email about two days later that the kickboxing nine round is shutting down in where I live. So I was like, that's awesome. Why is there a little box like watching my eyeball right now on the camera? This is really weird. My camera just ran out of space and I had to fix that. Anyways. I broke out from getting my eyebrows up, but that's not the point. I don't even know where I was now. Now I just lost my entire train of thought. Pretty much my best friend right down the road has a gym in her apartment building that I can go and use. So I'm going to meet her there on her lunch break for work. Just, I want to be either a morning workout or, or a midday workout, or, you know, but I don't, I don't know how well that's going to go, but I can use her gym. Don't worry. I'm not going to become like a fitness crazy person or anything. I just, 
I just want to be, I don't know, I need to be doing something. I just need to put Teddy's harness on. I got him all excited to go on that walk, and now I'm like, hey, Ted, I'm filming. Okay, I don't want to wear this top out because it's really embarrassing. I buy these tops for PJs, and I'm not wearing this out. Or should I just not give a crap? I've stopped putting heat on my hair the last couple days and it's not it doesn't even look that crazy So I feel like I could just try to start growing it out again And I cleaned my place yesterday and I think that's what's inspiring me to film today because when it's messy I just like I'm like I don't I don't know clean place feeling good I definitely feel this insulin working. Oh, I'm actually feeling it, feeling it kick in. I need shoes. I also, I need to get new shoes. These are like so old. They're falling apart. They are not white anymore. Ugh. I also like never tie them up. I just slip into them every time. Shoes are on. Do I change the shirt? You know what? I'm gonna put my hair in front of it and then nobody can read it. Oh yeah, so this is Teddy's cute little new harness. He actually looks so cute in it, so I'm gonna show ya. He moves around so much when I try to get his heckin' harness on. I'm also, so I've talked to you guys about the Diabetes Canada thing. I'm going to Vancouver June 3rd for a rehearsal, so that'll be interesting. I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the di ride for that year. I only have to be there for like an hour and a half, but I think I'm gonna go over with my friend David, who also makes content online, so. That'll be fun. I got his leash. I'm popping on here one more time before I go on the walk. My blood sugar is now at 12, 12.0, uh, 12 and you can see there's a little slanty air going down. So we're gonna see what happens by the time I come back from the walk, but I'm gonna see how much more insulin I have on board on my insulin pump. I'm also curious what you guys have for your insulin on board settings, because I think I have mine that it works for like my insulin, like, because it'll tell me how I can't talk today. Pretty much my insulin on board for people who understand that. I think I have it as, let me look at my settings. Fullest. Okay, insulin on board, I have it as 2.5 hours. Very curious if what you guys have. I'm gonna go walk Ted because he's being very impatient right now. I'll see you in a second. Okay, hopping on here once more. Did I even show you how much insulin I had on board? Yeah, I think I did but it's 2.05 units. And I have changed it that my one unit brings me down 2.5 because I'm just trying to adjust stuff. So then if I'm 12, I should be 11, 10, 9, 8. I should be down by eight, but then with the little walk, it'll pick stop my insulin. Right, Ted? We'll be right back. <laughs> just got back. Oh, I'm warm. Okay, let me take off your harness. Come here. Yeah, buddy. Woo! He did it. Ooh, 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 ooh. This is my best friend. He's like, you ain't mine. It's hot. Even with the air conditioning on in here, it's hot. Honestly, the staircase gets me. Once I go up the staircase, I'm just like sweaty for no apparent reason. Oh, let's check what my blood sugar is up. All right, dun 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 dun. Let's check my happy bub, and my happy bub says that we are ooh, ooh 10.2 and a slanty arrow coming down. Ooh, I knew the walk would help. So I wish I was a smoothie person. I don't know. I need like something right now, you know. But I get. I, I need to go pee, and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay. I don't know what I should eat before I go work out because it's 10 20 a.m. I'm right It is 10 20 a.m. right now. So normally me and my boyfriend eat lunch around 12 30 because that's when his lunch break in is and he, he he lives close to here. He he works close to here. He lives with me. So we normally have lunch at around 12.30, but I'm gonna be working out at 11.30 and I'm probably only gonna be there till 12, 12.15, come back and then be able to eat lunch. So I'm thinking about preparing like some tuna melts. That's like his thing. Like I have started to really like it. Now I'm craving one. So I think I'm gonna make some tuna melts or get like everything ready so that when I get back here, we can just kind of have it ready to pop in the oven. <laughs> But what I'll do is like early on, I think I'm gonna have one before I go to have a bit of protein carb in me just to start. I don't know. Do you guys recommend like what I should eat before a workout? I'm gonna probably be doing cardio and some weights. Someone just texted me, someone just texted me. And I'm trying to be better at being a better texture because I suck at it. Okay, nothing exciting. I also got my boyfriend a gift today, but I'm not telling him what it is on here yet because he's gonna watch this. He actually watches like every YouTube video. Supportive boyfriend. I'm still like really hungry today. I don't know why. Maybe it's because my blood sugar is starting to drop. We are now at nice and it switched to blue. We are 9.8. <laughs> I'm gonna get out two cans of tuna and I need another coffee. Or maybe I should be having some water before. I'm all over the place. Mayonnaise. Mustard. Don't want some runny mustard. No, we don't. And a little bit of onion. What the hell is this? What is this? This is grossing me out. I think there's some garlic sprouting in my fridge and I'm just gonna throw it out. I don't understand. That scared me. Okay. I don't, I'm not a big pop drinker anymore. I used to be a crazy pop drinker. One thing that's kind of cool is I've noticed over the years, like stores are giving us more of a broader option for Diet Pop. Like in Canada, at least, most of the time it would be like Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi, Fresca. And I'd be like, oh. Which one am I gonna pick today? Now you can get like everything here. Like we got zero Dr. Pepper 
And then we just, he really likes Coke, so we stuck to some bad Coke. I was getting cheese before I saw that scary scrubby thing. It's 1026. We're gonna mix everything in here. I need like some music, but this is the hard part is because if I put music on, it's gonna get copyrighted. I can put my earplug in. My kickboxing video got copyrighted. I don't know why, I don't know why. And I have to use his AirPods because when we moved in here, I lost one. Instantly. And so now I have one. I just wanna get, I don't know. I don't know, I just broke and I just can't. Songs, shuffle some music. Not a good song. Mayo? I'm like a big sucker for like 2,000 hits. I don't know. Quick jam break. The coffee machine here. I love it because you can take out this thing here and it actually fits travel mugs perfectly. Which is what I struggled with before. I'm gonna chop an onion and I might cry. Do not judge my chopping skills. I need a better knife. This sucks. I will say too, my boyfriend's the only one that has made me like onions. I hated onions before, now I like onions. It just adds so much, but I don't like the song that just changed. Okay, I'm back to the chopping. I put on some Shakira. I have so much energy today. I love it. I'm in such a good mood. I just realized I'm using two different types of tuna. Ooh, I should probably add in like some salt and pepper. Oh, I forgot about my coffee too. So these buns, one bun is 30 carbs. One, so 31 carbs, one gram of fiber. So I subtract the fiber, which would mean I would bolus for 30 carbs for one entire bun. This is just to kind of pull me, I'm hungry though, but I think this is just gonna pull me through the workout before I come home and have a bigger lunch. So we make them like this, and then I think I'm just gonna have like one of these with the protein and everything on top of it. I just need to get some tin foil. Oh, I think I can fit four buns on here. I feel like I'm missing a step right now, but. So update, I finished making it. It's, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are gonna be like, that's a weird meal. Or if that's gonna be good, but you know what? I'm just, whatever. Is this kind of turning into a what I eat in a day? I feel like it's what I eat in a day and what I do in a day. But never, my days are never the same. Anyways, let me just show you how the tuna melts. Oh, and then it will melt in the oven and be like all gooey and yummy. And then you just like, Devour it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one. Also, I my camera ran out of space again. I need to get like another SD card. I bought a new hard drive because I just like have no room on my computer either. I don't know. I never knew videos take up just so much space. I'm gonna make one before I go. I got a cute little dish and I'm gonna put it in here. And I'm gonna turn on broil on my oven and then we're gonna pop that in. Push it up. Melt the cheese and everything and then it will turn into a tuna melt. Broil, start. Timer, 10 minutes. I think it's doing its thingy majiggy. We got another coffee. Mm. What's my sugar at? We evened out at 8.4. Hey, so that's exactly what I said. So my, I think my- I am yelling at my house. My, I think my BG ratio or whatever is 2.5 or two. It would be two then. Oh, I don't know anymore. I took the dose that it gave me though and it works. That, I mean, I could have still went down two more points though. I don't know, we're gonna just keep rolling with it. Well, I wanna put this in the fridge. My camera's about to die, so. See y'all if it pieces out in a second. You can hang out with me until it dies. I actually got like sugar-free wine, Basque. I went I went to the liquor store to get a bottle of wine. He was like, I don't even think he knows I'm diabetic. He was like, you should try the sugar-free wine. And I'm like, you are saying that to the right person. Yeah, get in there. Oh, buddy. Okay, shoving the line above my pomegranate. <gasps> oh! That could have went so bad. Tuna milk are secure. Yay, we're done. Okay, I'm gonna go get a new battery so I can show you guys how I take insulin from when my tuna milk's ready. Okay, yeah. Okay, bye. One sec. My camera got to charge for like a minute. I I need my PDF. Voila. I kinda wanna do like homemade pizzas soon. And it is 11.04, so I have to be there at 11.30. I'm gonna try to, I need to get changed still, I need to get. I was starting to do my bolus without you guys. And then at first I typed in, cause I was trying to type in 15 carbs, and I typed in 15 units, and that is my biggest fear. But at least it always gives you a warning like, yo, that's a lot of insulin. 15 carbs. I'm like so hungry. I think I'm gonna wear shorts, maybe like a sports bra, like a workout shirt thing. Insulin just finished delivering. What is my blood sugar? 8.5. I kind of want to keep it a little bit there because if I'm gonna work out, I don't want to be too low. I'm, I'm, I'm doing slow, one little step at a time. 8.5 is definitely better than what I've been at. You guys want to give me some like title suggestions for these kind of vlogs? Like what would be good for this vlog? And you're gonna look at my title and you're gonna be like, this is not, this isn't good. I'm probably gonna end up being like, being away from the type one diabetic. But it's just a day in my life. And then I have diabetes. Wanna know the tricky thing with diabetes too? Is that the whole bun, 
have is 30 carbs, right? But I'm having the bigger part of the bun. Let's we'll see how it works out. Also, I ordered a Slurpee the other night. And my blood sugar did not even go high. Watched it like a hawk. I'm not did it. I have my Slurpee. I didn't want to know what I want. Jumbo freezies. That was so good. I'm gonna go get changed and plug in my camera. I dropped to 8.2. It's not focusing. So quickly, before my camera dies, I just finished the workout. <sighs> really hot right now. But I went low, so I was gonna keep staying in there and keep working out, but I was just like, I, this is not gonna work out in my favor. I was doing, I did, I started with cardio, ran on the treadmill, and then I was doing some like hit workout stuff. I don't even know if you would call that. I don't even know what anything is called. I was doing like kettlebell stuff. I was doing some stuff with like my butt and my legs. Eventually, I was like, I kind of kept checking my decks come on my phone and running over, and then it said I was 4.3 with a slanty arrow going down. Before that, I saw it five and then four, and then it was just slowly, slowly, slowly going down. But I liked that it wasn't just a straight arrow down, so then I didn't actually get scared. And then I took a juice box in there, kind of worked out for a little bit and then ended up doing a couple stretches ended up leaving and then it just kind of kept dropping got in my car actually finger poked and it said i was 4.9 so i'm actually good but way better than i thought so the tuna melt helped but i think next time i'm gonna take a bit less insulin for it i did decrease my basal rate by 40 percent when i was in there didn't seem to help me at all so that was really nice i just really want the omnipod 5 because then i can put on active mode what just beat what just beeped. And I think my insulin is still suspended and I'm gonna leave it suspended until I get home. But I am I'm gonna wait here for a minute until I just get into the fives and then I'm gonna drive home. But I am so heckin' warm right now. Oh my God, people are watching me. My Dexcom says we're 4.4, so that's nice. I need some water. As hot as my car is right now, this water is staying very cold. I'm gonna get home, charge my camera. It's about to die. I'm gonna go eat some more of those tuna melts I made. <laughs> okay, so a lot has happened literally within the last couple hours since I came on here to like update you after the gym. Oh, hang on, I need water. Pretty much, I was coming back from when I had the low, finally got ready, started my car, drove back, and then I got a text from my boyfriend that he wasn't able to grab my prescription. So I just pulled into the park because it's like literally right next to me. I went to go in, grab my prescription, and then I was like, you know what? I should go into my eye clinic is right beside it. So I was like, I should just go in and like, first of all, see if I can get my eye glasses fixed. I don't know if you guys remember that, but I was trying to get my glasses fixed for, fixed for so long. And so I went in there and then I was like, yeah, I should go to the eye doctor. And I was nervous, but I walked in, talked about the glasses, and I was like, I actually still need to also like book an appointment and she was like i thought she was gonna be like yeah we can't see you for like a few months no she was like are you free at two today i was like i'm free at two let's go on in well i came home first i had the rest of the tuna melts my boyfriend put in the oven it was perfect i had like three right when i got back and i could honestly have three more i'm so hungry and then i made it to the eye appointment it's probably there i was there for like an hour an hour and 15 minutes and i don't know why but i got a lot of anxiety while i was waiting in the waiting room because i was just like i just one day i don't want to be sitting here and then i find out i have a complication and it wasn't so so I got in and actually I had way better news than before. I had a prescription in 2021 and then in 2022 it actually went up like my prescription for my glasses and she said, you know what? You're back at your prescription for 2021. So with the tighter blood control that you've been having, it's actually brought your vision better and everything, blah, blah, blah. all that stuff. And I just kind of asked a lot of questions because I was just like, is it? I had a lot of questions and she's actually so awesome, this eye doctor. I don't, yeah, I'm really glad I found her because she really takes the time and I think she knows how much of a fear this is in my- Okay, this is great because they dilated my eyes and it's actually messing me up. One question I have is, what am I gonna like notice? Can my camera just stay still? I was like, what is one What is one thing that I would notice like with retinopathy? And she was like, that's one thing actually, why you need to go to the eye doctor at least once a year. I think I would prefer to go two times a year just cause I- I overthink everything. As a lot of the time, it's not gonna affect your vision first, obviously. So that's why the regular checkups are good. So we just check everything. We're all good in the hood. I probably sounded like the biggest hypochondriac in there. But she knows that because I, I do that every single heckin' time. What time is it? I need to take Ted out again. I have totally not given Ted enough attention today. It's 3.31. We should actually check what my blood sugar is. I don't know why I'm not paranoid about that right now. I thought there was showing my chin, but it was just the camera setting. Where's my phone? So we are, <laughs> we're 5.8. I'm so glad you met me. Look at these numbers. Happy Pob is emotional so Buddy, I never knew I needed. <laughs> My eyes are crying from chopping the onion. I'm gonna go continue crying.